would you even want any part of his sick legacy? After everything that he's done to me, I want, I, I deserve some money. To you? To you? How about me? I, I was almost killed this time and I would have taken our baby with me. I, I don't want his money in our house. Okay, look, that hole in the ground was bleeding me dry. Uh, I don't understand. I just kept pouring more and more money into his pockets while he had me spinning around looking for some treasure that didn't even exist. He's not going to get away with that, not to mention the money that he took from my mom. I'm getting it all back, Meg. Okay, so your mind's pretty made up? Yes, right? what is left of my mind is completely made up. Please, Meg. I would really like it if you'd be there with me. Okay, but you have to do something for me first. And I'm gonna go change. Got it. You're the nurse. No, I'm the boss. Don't you forget it. Is that the address Mr. Burton gave you? I can't believe I'm considering going to this. Well, your presence was requested for a reason. There's no reason for me to be at the reading of James's will. It's a joke. Again, yeah, with a possible multi-million dollar punchline. You're starting to sound like the reporter you are, but don't write the story before you know the headline. Or reverse that. Okay, you know what? Even if there's not a ton of money, isn't it something you'd want to see? I know I would. The unveiling of James's last wishes? People have been waiting for this for years, Dusty. Then why don't you come with me? What? Seriously? <sighs> It'd save me the effort of having to tell you about it later. And it might be nice to have a friend along. Hey, so that's what we are. I mean, we're... We're still friends. Sorry with you. Yeah, it's more than all right. Then let's get this over with. Wow. You know, I really thought we were past all this. Um, oh, what? What did I say? You know what you said. Don't pretend you don't. Um, no, I don't. I don't think this is worth picking a fight over. Why? He doesn't want us to promote the foundation of the film festival. No, hold on. Because it's a gay festival. We can't have that. That's not what I said. Well, you seem to be really into it until you find out who was going to be there. What I'm concerned about, Luke, my only concern is how the foundation is viewed by the public. We're in the very early stages here, and we need to make sure that it doesn't come off as, um... As, um, uh, gay? That it doesn't come off as political. It's a film festival, Brian. Aimed at a very specific demographic, and what we want is for the foundation to reach as wide a spectrum of people as possible. Of straight people, you mean? You know, I would have thought that Lucinda Walsh's grandson would be smarter than this. What did you just say? Hey, Luke, you know, I know there's more to you than the fact that he is the person that you love. Th Why can't you just say gay, Brian? What's so hard about that? Why do you always have to bend over backwards to try to find another way to describe it? Uh, you are so determined to define yourself by this one thing. I mean, you, you know, you take, you take any little thing that draws attention away from it as a personal affront. I do not. You think you have it so tough? Let me tell you something, Luke. If being gay is the biggest hardship you have to face in life, well then hell, kid, you have it a lot easier than the rest of us. Now we have a conference call in a half an hour with the Oakdale Conservation Society. I'm going back to the office. Do you want to ride? I will take my own car. Thank you. No, I'm sorry about this. See you back at the office. you let him get under your skin like that because he's wrong it is not a crime to hand out those pamphlets at the film festival that's not what he's saying well then what is he saying that i'm some self-absorbed spoiled brat no he's saying that there's more to you than just being gay besides that you're a writer you're a big brother you're you're an athlete you're a college student hey i love you and that has very little to do with the fact that you're gay. <laughs> well, I think it helps. Maybe a little. Well, you know what else I am? Really, really cute. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm 
this into Walsh's grandson. And what does that mean? That means that I'm going to hand out these pamphlets whether he likes it or not. <laughs> you can just show yourself wait, out. You're not no, going anywhere with wait, the girls. No, just one moment, please, honey. I feel it. I feel it. I feel your pain. I feel your hurt. And I, I'm... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm truly well, sorry I'm for moved. that. I'm moved. I'm moved, okay? Now leave. But wait a moment. If you don't listen to me, how can I ever explain anything? What, what's there to explain? You did what you did. You let everybody believe Dusty was dead. Yes, I did that. I did that. I helped Dusty leave town when he came to me with that plan. So that nobody would ever know, ever. I did it. And I had a reason. I wasn't gonna let you throw your life down the tubes, not for that man. I wasn't gonna let that happen. I had to do something and I did oh, do something Oh, I should be grateful it. to you then for all your lies. Look at all the miracles they've accomplished. You saved my marriage. I never went to Iva's. Holden never turned to Carly. Yeah, you're angry, dear, and maybe in time. No, no, will... time is not gonna cover it. We've been here before, Mother. I suppose we have. Yeah, and I always forgive you because you're always sorry. Is that what you're counting on? Well, actually, yes, I am. Well, you know what? It's not gonna cut it this time. I want you to leave. Lily. I said go. I uh, think you should leave. Come on, Holden, give me a break here. Will you talk to her? Will you make her see what the, this was all about? No, I, I can't do that because I don't know what it was myself. Lily. Lily. I was an accomplice with Dusty. I did it. And I did it because I love you. Am I being unreasonable? Am I not justified in being angry with no, her? No, no, no. I understand why you're upset. But? What I don't understand is why this time is so unforgivable. <laughs>